Someone else made this quickie. Anytime there's a new technology, you inevitably get people, generally ones engaging in the Luddite fallacy I mentioned in the last quickie, claiming that it's not really a new invention. The Hyperloop is, again, a good example. Elon Musk didn't invent anything. That idea has been around for ages. But inventions aren't made out of whole cloth. It's never a eureka moment, a brand new thing made entirely from scratch with immediate success. It's all incremental development. The credit for an invention generally goes to the one who is able to make it practical and efficient. No successful inventor was ever the first to make that invention. The incandescent light bulb was actually invented in 1835, and everyone else was just tinkering with it to get it to last. Samuel Morse didn't invent the telegraph. That dated back to the 1790s. James Watt didn't invent the steam engine. That dates back to ancient Rome. The theory of the transistor was conceived in 1875, but the first patent wasn't issued until 1925. And you didn't have the first actual transistor until 1947. And even then, integrated circuits weren't developed until 1958. Microcomputers weren't invented until 1975, a hundred years after the transistor was first conceptualized. You even see this in pure mathematics. Grigory Perelman was awarded both a Million Dollar Millennium Prize and the Fields Medal for solving the Poincaré conjecture, and he turned them both down, saying he was no more responsible for the solution than others who laid the groundwork. But of course, those who laid the groundwork didn't actually solve it, did they? Inventions are often started by others decades, centuries, and even millennia before the modern invention. Over time, it's developed and tweaked, but it takes innovation and a lot of hard work to make it economically viable.